it's actually not easy. A lot of people may have their opinion to share about this step I'm taking, but I quite know what I want and I'm matured enough to take the responsibility of every action I make. <laughs> My name is Ruth Moses. Yeah, that's basically it. Well, my name is Dan Sofo Osman Jr. and um, I'm a multimedia personality. I love a lot of things about him. He's kind, he's patient, he's loving, he's giving. You know, most importantly, he's kind. One thing I love most in this world is a kind person. And the fact that he's not just kind to me, but everyone around him, <laughs> it makes me love him so much. So yes. He's kind, patient, understanding, and giving. There are several qualities I've seen in her. And um, I just want to tell you maybe one or two. Of course, she's calm, she's um, reserved. And above all, I see her as somebody that is, um, you know, that is godly, that is religious. So she's, she's not this contemporary kind of ladies. She's not, you know, you know, current ladies, there's a way they behave, you know, they call them the Gen Z's, right? But she doesn't get this attribute of the Gen Z's in her, you understand? One evening he messaged me on WhatsApp. He said he saw my picture on somebody's um, status. <laughs> God bless that evening because that was the best day of my life. At first, I was indifferent about it because that's not the first time a random person is going to message me. Well, it was one evening, you know, I just did on my own, you know, so I was just trying to look through people's uh, status and um, I just saw it on uh, Ojima's uh, status. And I messaged Ojima, Ojima, do you know this girl? He said, ah, it's her cousin sister or something like that. And I said, ah, can I have a number? I don't know the exact message I sent to him that night. But we ended up, you know, he ended up sending her number and I got to message her on WhatsApp and I told her my interest. No, not telling her my interest. I actually wanted, I told her I want to take him out <laughs> or meeting and disclose my intention to her. That was how we met and we changed a lot of things together and we thought, you know, we had about four hours talking together on our first date. He was fun to talk to. We were chatting frequently and... Now we're here, the rest is history. <laughs> well, it may, it may shock you that uh, you discover, she's, like she said, she's a Christian, I'm a Muslim, and um, Islam actually did not prohibit or forbid Muslims to get married to Christians. In short, they even advise that we should get married to them and make them our wives. So just like what I'm doing, if you look very well, you go deeper with people that have the deeper knowledge of Islam, they'll tell you that, okay, what I'm doing is called, um, uh, what is it called, uh, jihad. And so I'm not, I'm, not, uh, I'm not just jumping to it. I know he's a Muslim and he's a Muslim, he's entitled to as many wives, four wives even. So that's not a problem for me. Most important thing is that I've seen a man that I love. Even the Bible commands a wife to submit to her husband. So if I'm going to submit to him, religion cannot be a barrier. It's actually not easy. A lot of people may have their opinion to share about this step I'm taking, but I quite know what I want and I'm matured enough to take the responsibility of every action I make. Please and please, I'm begging the general public to just share in our joy. There's no point, you know, attacking us or discriminating or picking on us. This is a decision we have taken out of love. So you should respect our decision and just, you know, be happy for us. This relationship is born out of love and only a bitter person we hate on this relationship. And we use this opportunity to invite people to this uh, August occasion that is going to happen in August. <laughs> Please. Please, if you have anything to say about this relationship, it should be good things only. Thank you.